Hi, and welcome. I'd like to take a few minutes of your time to show you a quick look at designing sound for a movie. Okay, so let's get started. Here we have some scenes in a feature film. I would like to show you these scenes broken down into layers of sound. This way, you will hear the process build up until the final sound mix. Let's start at the beginning with raw production audio. So what is missing? As there is no dialogue in this first scene, the audio recorder was switched off. It makes sense really, as this part is shot with visual effects in mind. The job of the production audio team is just to capture the actor's dialogue. During this process, naturally, other sound elements are picked up by the microphones. Can you hurry up, man? My kid really needs to go. The door knocking was captured with the dialogue. That's why it's our job to sweeten these sounds and build them up to sound natural. Once we have done our job, you shouldn't feel that anything is out of place. You notice the generator noise just off camera here? This is typical on set to provide power, but definitely not a desirable sound to be kept in. But what sounds will take its place? Environment sounds, the bike, and the actor's movements. Next, we will play the scenes back with Foley sounds added. These are the detailed cloth, footsteps, and individual props recorded and performed by a Foley artist. Hurry up, man. My kid really needs to go. So what we're really missing are the designed effects. These really complete the real and surreal experience for the audience. Let's listen. Last but not least, we add our final party trick, the backgrounds. In other words, the static environment. So let's play back the final mix.
Big difference, right? Don't you agree? Thank you for taking time to see what is accomplished through audio post-production. Remember, if you can hear it, we can create it. Anything audible. <laughs>